So if you are on a journey and you want to feel better, I don't know anybody that doesn't want to feel better in their heart, in their mind, in their life, in relationships. So sometimes we oversimplify it. Sometimes the simple things are amazing and powerful, but I want to talk about rest. So sometimes we just say like, what hours are you getting rest? And improve that. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure you're not having blue light shining in your eyes. Maybe you will have to cut out TV in the evening. Maybe you need to get an extra two hours of sleep. Whatever that is, maybe you need to work on your gut biome so you can have more serotonin. Maybe there's stressors in your life you need to address. But there's this other deeper thing. We are not just physical. We don't just feel refreshed because, hey, we cut out the TV and we started going to bed at 9. And now when we wake up at 6 a.m., we feel magically better. Well, it doesn't work like that if you are having weights, emotional, spiritual weights weighing you down. The rest won't refresh your soul. So soul processing is this time so you can kind of feel at rest even throughout your day. Having restful flows in your life so you can have those pockets of time to say, I need to come back into my hermit crab and I need to basically work through some things with God, with friends, maybe with a counselor, maybe with a life coach, maybe with a spiritual director. And I need help working through these things that are causing this distress in my soul. This unrestful soul, you can't really get better physically because the spirit influences what happens in our physical body. It is going to alter your hormones. It's going to alter how you hold your soft tissue. There's positions of stress. There's positions of deep hurt and anguish. There's positions of lack of confidence. Like you can train your eye to see that physically, but then you can also like see it physically. Um, malabsorption from stress. If you are at your core, not at a restful state in your mind, your body is going to agree with that. Like, so basically the way that unforgiveness eats at you, the way that grief eats at you, the way a loss of a loved one eats at you and has physical, deep physical implications. There is a need for not just more rest where you're laying in a bed with your mind shut off, but that soul processing rest where you walk through these hard things. And as much as you can, you allow God to heal and stitch up the wounds. And there are going to be ones that still grieve you. But to share that with someone else and to have them say, I'm walking with you, we're going to create new good memories together. So you can remember God's goodness outweighs the hardships in life. And sometimes we have to work on creating new memories of good things with people who love us, who have our best interest in mind. And sometimes it might mean when we talk about rest, you have a restful life. Are you? Do you feel like you're anywhere where you can go through your day and deep breathe? Or are things attacking you? When I say attacking you, like possessions, schedule too much. Do you not have pockets of time to process what's actually happening here? Sometimes we go through life so busy and we give ourselves objectives. And you might make it an objective, check. You know, I got nine hours of sleep, check. And then you might see you still don't feel better. So what are you running away from that you might need a friend a counselor, a coach to help guide you through to soul process so you can really feel like you have more of God's rest in your life. And no, it's not going to be perfect on this side of the world, but there are some things that you can definitely process through, that you can release, that you can give to God, that you can kind of learn uh, His truth about it. And, you know, maybe it's letting go of some unforgiveness so you can have that peace more peace deep in your soul that God has for you. So when you wake up, there's not these emotional weights that you've carried around for a lifetime maybe, weighing you down, draining your energy every step of the way. So soul rest is important. How do you get there? Who do you need to help you through that journey? And reaching out to others is okay. We all 
need a whole team on a healing journey. You can't just, yes, you have God, but we're made to be interconnected with like-minded people. So maybe, you know, having some positive people in your life, having creating that space to process hard stuff and file away what you've been kind of running from. Applying God's truth to it is always helpful. It's going to be hard nonetheless, but hopefully you can file away some things that are able to be dealt with. And then the big things, the big things that are so hard that are always going to be hard. You can just kind of invite Jesus 